Welcome back to the Frank Sontag Show, hour number two. And our impact segment is upon us, 20-plus minutes of uninterrupted dialogue and discussion. We're going to change gears a little bit, at least for our impact segment, and maybe later in the hour go back to some of the previous conversation, as well as talking about the idea of why we can't even sing in church now. But I have a dear friend on the phone. Next Wednesday is July the 15th, which is an important day for many of us that work and file taxes. Phil Liberatore is from IRS Problem Solvers, and he is on the hotline. Phil, thanks for calling in. Hey, thanks, Frank. Thanks for having me. Phil, it was good to see you a couple weeks ago. Thanks for you know doing my taxes and helping address some of the struggles that I have. And for so many people that have gone to you, I want to cumulatively say, uh, say a big thank you for all of us. Thanks for doing what you do. Oh, my pleasure. I have uh, We have a lot of fun over here helping people out like yourselves. We did have some fun, too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And we sing. We're going to sing, too, Frank. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't get me going on the singing. So <laughs> next, a week from tomorrow is July 15th. Talk about how important that day is when it comes to filing for taxes. Well, as you, uh, as your listeners know, the uh, tax deadline was extended from April 15th to July 15th, which is a week from Wednesday. And boy, Frank, our office is buzzing right now. We are so busy catching up on these returns that need to be filed by July 15th. Now, if your listeners don't file their returns, they need to pay their taxes in full. Otherwise, they're going to start uh, accruing interest and penalties starting July 16th. So, uh, they're getting to gear up again for uh, sending out notices. And in fact, Frank, they just recently hired almost 2,000 new employees just to focus on collections. So I want your listeners to know that uh, the IRS is going to start hitting it pretty hard with people that owe back taxes or haven't filed. And they're going to scrutinize taxpayer collection more than ever. So that's around the corner, Frank. Uh, they've been kind of laying low, especially with the pandemic. But now, after July 15th, they're going to start kicking it up in high gear. How has the pandemic affected you at IRS Problem Solvers? And maybe for those that are listening that may be a little concerned about protocol and maybe some things that you have changed around the office to help people, um, if someone's listening and wants to get their taxes done, uh, should they come in? Should they contact you? Talk a little bit about what you've done at your your place of business to help ensure our safety, if you will. Well, the Department of Health was so kind to visit our offices, Frank. Uh, they gave us signage, and they gave us instructions on what to do. Uh, we were deemed as an essential business, so we were allowed to stay open. So we've been working this whole time. Frank, and it's, uh, as a matter of fact, it's very refreshing to be able to come to work every day. And I, I uh, feel for your listeners out there that have been out of work or have missed some work or continue to be out of work because uh, it, it's not an easy thing. But I've been so blessed here in our offices to continue working. But we have uh, social distancing and we have face masks when you come in. We have disinfectants and sanitizers for your hands and We've got a large conference room if you like to sit across. Of course, a lot of our uh, clients have been sending in their information either through uh, special delivery or email or even Zoom. We've been doing a lot of Zoom conferences. I mean, that's very popular now. So there's all kinds of ways to get your taxes done here, Frank. Phil Liberatore is my guest from IRS Problem Solvers, two resourceful pieces of information that I'll mention a number of times during the interview. Website is stopirspain.com, stopirspain.com, and a number to call 877, the number 6-SOLVER, 877-6-SOLVER. To be transparent, for those of you that may have not heard any interviews that I've done with Phil in the past, to be very honest, I went to high school with Phil. He is my accountant. He's helped me out of some very deep waters with the IRS, and I personally endorse him not only because he's a dear friend, but he's very good at what he does. And if you will, talk a little bit about your background and how it is you've come to become the guy that we um, jokingly call our heavy hitter, if you will. 
<laughs> well, if you've got major league tax problems, I am your heavy hitter, Phil Libertori, Frank. But listen, um, God handed me this business uh, 32 years ago. It'll be 32 years in November. And early on, I started gaining clients that had issues with the IRS. And little did I know, the IRS, God was preparing me to deal with the IRS directly for individuals that are in trouble with the IRS. And uh, it's very interesting, Frank, because clients would come in, they owe all kinds of money. I would sit down with them, go over different options we had, and I would figure out strategies that would help them eliminate, at some point, their total debt with the IRS. I, in fact, my first client was a, a, a woman who was getting close to retirement, and she came in, Frank, and she said, Phil, I owe the IRS uh, over $50,000, and every year I owe the IRS. And to be frank with you, Phil, I, I think I'm going to just continue paying the IRS until I die. I mean, these are her exact words, Frank. And I said, well, let me look at your returns. So I looked at her returns, and, of course, she did them herself. And back then, this goes back 32 years, uh, we would fill out the returns by pen or pencil, believe it or not, Frank. Can you imagine that? Mm. Filling out your 1040 by pen or pencil. But anyway, I looked at him. I said, boy, bring in all your receipts because you didn't you didn't take all the deductions you were entitled to. So I went through everything for her, Frank. I went through every check, every credit card receipt. I reconstructed everything for the last three years, and I amended the returns. And I said, I'm going to send these in and your $50,000 bill is going to be cut in more than half. And uh, little did I know they were going to pull the returns for audit. Of course, I was well prepared for it. Mm -hmm. I had all the documentations. I, I documented everything. I went in there. And they even gave her more, more money off her tax bill because we had more substantiation. So God is good, Frank, and we've got such great experience here over the years that we've gained favor with the IRS, we've established relationships with the IRS, and they welcome us when we walk into their offices to settle with them and get taxpayers back on track. Phil Libertori is my guest. Phil, I, I suspect the truth is there are thousands of people listening right now, maybe most of which have filed taxes or have someone that will file within the next week, and yet, there's a lot of people listening for various reasons have not filed. They're afraid to. Maybe they're concerned that they can't come up with money if somehow they owe back taxes. And I just want you to spend a moment and just speak to those listening right now that think, well, I'm afraid to maybe even reach out to Phil because of what may be to come. Well, Frank, I want to tell them they're not alone, first of all. Uh, a lot of people get behind for various reasons. Uh, different events take place in their lives, and for some reason they just get behind filing their income taxes. And it's interesting because they think they owe all this money to the IRS, and, and they're so frightened to file, they don't want to see the end result. But with my experience over the years, in a lot of the cases – where they haven't filed, they actually, in, in fact, get refunds back. I'm not saying every time, but in a lot of the, probably 80% of the time, they actually get refunds. And little do they know that, Frank, but they're so frightened and fearful of owing the IRS and just getting a knock on the door or a letter from the IRS that they're just frozen. But I just want to tell your listeners, there's nothing to be afraid of to just call me I've done this. I could get on with their hotline, the practitioner hotline. I get all the information they need, even if they don't have any records. Frank, I can gain the records from the IRS. I work with them day in and day out, and I'll get everything they need, and I'll get them back on track. Phil, would you speak to those also listening? Uh, above all, we are followers of Christ and how literally and figuratively, this is a ministry. This is your ministry in a lot of ways. Talk about the importance of focusing on God as you do this type of work. And I pray many people will call you and not live in fear, reach out to you and get their taxes done and get right with the government, if you will. Absolutely. Frank, we, uh, 
when clients come in, one of the first things we'll listen to what what happened and what their situation is, and the next thing we'll ask is there's something we could pray for them about because we uh, pray as an office every week. We've got about six pages of prayer requests. Of course, we've got seven or eight pages of praise reports, and this could be any type of need, financial, relational, physical, uh, spiritual, and uh, we're really concerned for the listeners out there because there's a lot happening even now with the pandemic. I mean, people are hurting. Uh, we even had a, a, a prayer out in a parking lot here with small business owners because they're the ones that are hurting the most right now because they got to get their businesses back up and running and rehire. And it's a challenge, Frank, and we all need God's help. And we're just God's helping hand here. We just want to be a connection for prayer and for God to do the miraculous and and turn these uh, situations around. Do you have a story, I don't know if you do, of maybe somebody that didn't file taxes for many years? I, I get a sense there may be some listening right now where they've just avoided it. Like, I, I'm just, it's too scary. I, I just, I'm just going to avoid filing at all uh, with maybe someday uh, I'll get right. But do you have a story of somebody that maybe came in and said, Phil, I haven't filed for, I don't know, 10 years, a long time. Can you help me? Yeah, that's interesting. You said ten years because it's it's we get clients that haven't filed for ten years pretty regularly, Frank. And uh, I'll tell you one story. His name was Lance, and uh, he was engaged. And of course, his fiance says, "Hey, you better catch up on your taxes, or we're not going to get married." So he was really highly motivated. But when he came in here and we filed all those taxes. He had a down payment for a house, Frank, and I'm not kidding. And he, he made a commercial. I mean, I don't solicit these uh, these clients to make commercials, but he said, Phil, let me make a commercial because I was facing Goliath, and you were like David, Phil, hmm. and you slain the giant. And I said, oh, Lance, that's too kind of you. But he actually made a commercial said, Phil is like David, and the IRS is like Goliath. And I got the victory, and he he came away with a down payment on a house. And I'm telling you, that's not going to happen every time, but, I mean, it happens. And uh, this, this God is incredible, and, and I, I just praise the Lord that we could help individuals like that. I want you all to listen to this next question. Phil would never make mention of this necessarily, but here's something that I do also know about Phil a great deal. And here's the question. Phil, you love what you do. You love what you do, do you not? You love doing this stuff. Frank, I love helping people. I mean, this is my bread and butter, but not only that, we we love to help ministries. You know, we're a big part of the Dream Center down in L.A. Yes, you are. Helping them, and uh, that's I just, want, I just want to be a conduit to... Uh, God's kingdom here on earth and just help out as much as I can. And uh, I get such joy. I mean, people come in now and they they ask me, are you going to retire, Phil? Because, you know, we, we don't want to go anywhere else. And I says, no, I'm, I'm never going to retire. I'm never going to retire, Frank. I'm never going to retire. In fact, I've, recently I've been refired. I'm so fired up to help people out. I'm just, uh, I just love what I do. Mm-hmm. And I just thank God I have this opportunity to do it. Well, you, you not only do help scores of people that come in with tax struggles, you made mention of your support of the Dream Center. You've supported my ministry. You were responsible for sending 33 guys up in the mountains last year on our retreat. It, it was made possible because of you. So I'm just so grateful for you and all you do for ministries and churches. And so in the few moments we have left, Let's talk about us, us as individuals and people listening right now. What would you suggest for anyone listening right now that may have a concern about July 15th and they haven't filed yet? What would you ask that they do? Call you, website, what would be the best way to reach out to you? Well, call us at 877-6-SOLVER, certainly, or you could go to our website, stopirspain.com, and, and email us, but... Uh... 
We're, we're here around the clock, literally, Frank. I mean, we're working late tonight, and we're probably going to work pretty late through uh, July 15th to get all these taxes filed. But this is what we love, so we love doing this. And uh, please contact me at 877-6-SOVER or stopirspain.com, and we'll take care of them. Even if you don't... Uh, even if you can't pay your taxes, it's better to file the tax return because you'll eliminate some penalties by doing that. So I've got to encourage your listeners to file by July 15th and uh, get the first step taken. I'm glad you brought that up because I've gotten a couple emails over the last few weeks from people. They, they hear your commercials and they know that you and I went to high school together and they say, I'm afraid that I'll have to pay. And so, therefore, I'm not going to file. And that would be the worst thing to do. You want to at least file and then, whether it's set up a payment plan like you have done, honestly, for me in the past, or just make sure you don't incur larger debts or interest by the IRS, you got to get your taxes filed, period. Yeah, you have to get the taxes filed. Now, even if they do uh, get penalties, the IRS does have a program to abate penalties, so that's even available. And then, of course, they take monthly payments. So there's all kinds of options for your listeners out there that can't afford to pay their taxes, but uh, we definitely encourage them to file them. And, and last question, you brought it up, and those that may be listening right now that have small businesses, and this has been the first six months a very tough year, but needless to say, last year, just to have a small business in the state is a challenge uh, unto itself. So to be very clear and direct, you also help those with small businesses. Yeah, absolutely. I, that's our bread and butter uh, clientele is uh, small businesses, especially uh, ones that are just mom and pops. I mean, that's our specialty, and uh, we really help them out a great deal, Frank. And, and a lot of them, we're recommending corporations for them. I know that sounds like a big thing to do, but believe it or not, it's a great tax-saving vehicle is to incorporate. So uh, the IRS is gearing up to audit small businesses, by the way, Frank. And by the end of the year, I think we're going to see an, uh, an uptick on uh, the number of small businesses being audited. So they need to be more prepared than ever right now in 2020. Phil Liberatore is from IRS Problem Solvers. Two points of interest. StopIRSPain.com is a website you can go if you want to find out more about Phil and his area of expertise and everything they do. StopIRSPain.com and call them. Set up an appointment. Get your taxes filed. If you have problems with back taxes, Phil will help you with that as well. Small businesses, anything. 877, the number 6 Solver. 877 6 Solver. Make that call today and get an appointment. And Phil, I can't even articulate enough, not only for our friendship and our brotherhood in Christ, but how you've helped me with this issue, too. Thank you for helping so many. Anything you want to share in closing, please do so now. Well, Frank, I think we're on the heels of revival. Uh, in our country, and I just want to encourage uh, your listeners out there to continue to be on their knees and pray and seek the Lord. Uh, he has certainly blessed me, and he wants to bless his kids, Frank, as you well know. So I just want to encourage your listeners that the best is yet to come. God wants to increase and extend our influence, our favor, and our finances, and uh, I can't encourage them enough frank in that area phil liberatory is from irs problem solvers phil thanks for today thanks for all you do i love you i'll talk to you soon and love you too frank thank you so much we really appreciate you thank you we appreciate everybody at your house irs problem solvers stop irspain.com 877 the number six solver make that call now more of the frank sontag show next frank sontag 